Welcome to Electron lecture online. In the previous video, we showed you how to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of this particular matrix. And we showed you that the diagonalization of the matrix, D, is simply the eigenvalues across the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And so all we did was find eigenvalues and found the diagonalized matrix. But we also showed you that you can find the diagonalized matrix by taking the P matrix, which is made up of the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues, you find the inverse P matrix, you multiply that times the A matrix, the original A matrix, and you can also find the diagonalized matrix. And we're going to show you that now. So first of all, let's find the P matrix. The P matrix is equal to the two, the, what we call eigenvectors, which means that this is equal to V1 from the previous video was 2 and 1, V2 is 1 and 1. So now we want to find the inverse P matrix. And the inverse P matrix is equal to, whoop, that here, the inverse P matrix is equal to 1 over the determinant times, and that would be these two x changed, that would be 1 and 2, and negative signs in front of these two elements, negative 1 and negative 1. Okay, now we have to be careful because this D is not the same as that D. So I'll put that in little quotation marks. We need to find the determinant of this vector. The determinant would be 2 times 1. So where we have D, like this, is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1 times 1, which is 1. And so therefore, this is simply equal to 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 1. There we go. We found the P matrix, the inverse of the P matrix. Now we can say that the diagonalized matrix D is equal to the inverse of P multiplied times A multiplied times P, which means that this is equal to our inverse P matrix, 1 minus 1, minus 1 and 2, the A matrix, which is minus 5, minus 4, 8 and 7, and then the P matrix, which is 2, 1, 1, and 1. All right, let's go ahead and work this out. When we multiply these together, we should get this matrix right here. Let's find out if that's true. First, we'll multiply these two together, which will give us the following. We get 1 times minus 5, minus 1 times minus 4. So minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. Next, we get 8 minus 7, which is 1. 5 minus 8 is minus 3, and minus 8 plus 14 would be positive 6. So we multiply the times the matrix 2, 1, 1, and 1. Let's see what we get here, and this better equal the diagonalized matrix here. All right, doesn't look like it yet, but let's find out. Minus 2 plus 1 is a minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. That's a good sign. Minus 6 plus 6 is 0. And minus 3 plus 6 is a plus 3. And sure enough, look at that. It is equal to our diagonalized matrix, which is kind of neat. So we can find the diagonalized matrix by knowing the eigenvectors, making a matrix out of that, finding the inverse of that matrix, and then sandwich the A matrix in between that will give us the diagonalized matrix, or we can also start with finding the eigenvalues and then simply plugging them in across the diagonal. On the next video, we're going to reverse the order of these to show you that it didn't matter that we put the 3 up there and the minus 1 down here. Again, we'll then find the corresponding P matrix. We'll, we'll now have these two reversed, and you'll see that it should not make any difference. We should still be able to get the exact same value here. And we'll do that on the next matrix just to make sure it doesn't make any difference. And that's how it's done.